Hey guys, Golden Gear Tech here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod or iPhone on iOS 6 through 6.1.6 .6 on um, an untethered jailbreak with the uh, program Red Snow. You're going to need to download an iOS 6 firmware for whatever device you're using, and you're going to need to download the program Red Snow. So I'll have the links for that down in the description. And uh, yeah, so let's open this up. The first thing you want to do is turn off your iPod or iPhone or iPad, whatever you're jailbreaking, your iDevice, I'll just call it. You want to turn that off to prepare yourself in the future for entering in a DFU mode. Um, then you want to go click Extras, and you want to select IPSW. This will trick the program into thinking you have an iOS 6 uh, device. Um, so, yeah, you just want to click OK, and then click Back, and click Jailbreak. And this will prepare your jailbreak uh, for the future, um, just putting everything together for when you jailbreak it. Alright, so now you come up to this screen, you want to make sure install Cydia is checked, and I heard that sometimes it doesn't really work if you have enabled battery percentage, so uh, just for a better uh, jailbreak, just uncheck that. And then you want to click next, and this screen will pop up, and since we already turned off our iPod, you can just click next. And then you want to follow these directions on this screen to put your device into DFU mode. It's a pretty simple process, if you have trouble, just uh, just Google um, something and I'm sure you can come up with something to help you out so you just wait for all the all of the uh, process to to be done basically and if you have trouble um, it, now it's gonna be doing a bunch of stuff but if you have trouble and you get stuck to get your device out of DFU mode just do that same process and then press the home button after it just like hold it for like a second and it will uh, reboot. It might take a little longer but it will reboot. If you have any other questions just ask them in the description and I'll get back to you. Alright so now it will be doing a bunch of stuff. It'll This little screen will pop up on your iPod um, saying uploading jailbreak data and it will have the or something like that and it will have the a hard drive icon with a little arrow on it just saying it's putting stuff onto the iPod itself. Alright, now it's going to be uploading kernel. It, this process takes a little bit, but just bear with it and uh, it, it's really worth it. Now a bunch of text will come up on your iPod. You just want to click, you just want to wait for all that stuff to be done. Um, just don't bother it and it will take care of itself. Um, and then after that, another screen will pop up. It will be uh, doing a bunch of stuff to basically transfer everything over to your uh, iPod. So the longest part, I'd say, and the part that frustrates people the most is the moving applications part. This part um, takes a long time. I don't know why, but it really does. And if you think you're stuck at that screen, you're not. It just takes forever to do. So just uh just hang in there and it will eventually uh be over. I sped this up a lot as you can see. So um so that's why it's going to take a little bit less than uh when you guys do this. So so yeah, just bear with it. It's it's worth it. It's pretty pretty simple process. It's worth it. So now it's going to reboot your device once it's done with all of that. And it will reboot it into like a semi-tethered um, thing. So what you want to do is close Red Snow and reopen it. And then you want to go down and you want to reselect your IPSW that you used earlier. Because now you're going to be booting up your device into a tethered jailbreak form. Which then we can turn it into an untethered. So now you want to click Just Boot. And you want to turn off your device again. 
and once it turns off you can click next and you just want to follow the the steps again hold the power button hold both of them and then release the power button while still holding the home button this will put it back into dfu mode so you can um boot it up in a tethered jailbreak uh state basically all right so um it'll start doing all this stuff and you have the options on the bottom I usually don't mess with those because I'll be turning into an untethered jailbreak anyway. But, but yeah. So now it's gonna uh, start booting up your device again um, with a pineapple logo on there. So just let it do its thing, and once it's done, it will boot up the rest of the way, and you are you're done with Red Snow basically. So you can just close that out. So now um, everything else takes place on the iOS device. So as soon as it boots up, it might lag a tiny bit, but this will be the only time that it does. I don't know why it does, but you just want to unlock it, go into Cydia, and then tap User, and then tap Done. And then you want to go into the Changes tab across the bottom because you need to update Cydia and uh, just let it load all of it, the changes, refresh and you wanna click complete upgrade because this uh, or yeah complete upgrade uh, just to get everything back into uh, the current state but when this is done it'll prompt you to reboot your device do not do that just press the home button um, as you'll see in a little bit so as you can see it said reboot device just press the home button and kill the app from the app switcher and then go back into the app so then you want to go into the search and type in p0 uh, I think that's all you really have to type in and you'll download something called POSIX spawn and once that downloads it'll just say return to Cydia this is when you would restart your device and uh, and you can check apps just I'm just gonna check a few to make sure um, to prove that it's a jailbreak uh, legitimate jailbreak so uh, yeah yeah now your device is completely jailbroken thanks for watching if you have any questions please ask them in the description have a nice day